how to integrate ManyChat with Zapier to store information from say a survey or other information you're gathering within ManyChat into Google Sheets. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video now. All right, let's get started. So we're going to walk through creating a bot and mini chat, a flow that will fire off a zap in Zapier that will store the information in the Google Sheets for whatever purpose that you're looking to do. It could be a survey that you want to put out there on and keep the information in Google Sheets. You can use it to track if people are redeeming offers. Um, those types of things. And we're actually going to do a real estate buyer where you're going to collect some information from them. So let's get started here. So we're going to do a flow. We're going to do a new flow. I'm just going to call it real estate, estate buyer. And then we're going to go to the go to flow builder. You can do the basic builder or the flow builder. Flow builder kind of gives you this diagram, which you can kind of follow, which is kind of neat. So we're just going to say, I name look forward to helping you find your new and we're gonna do that so you can put emojis in here and make it a little more personal um, we have a few questions to ask you are you ready <laughs> And what you want to do is keep it very conversational, like you're talking to a friend and very short. And so we're going to ask them a question. There's one, however they've got here to the bot, be it an ad, be it uh, QR, uh, the code, the messenger code, however they got here, uh, you want to have them interact. And once they interact, they become a subscriber for your audience, for your bot. So we're going to ask them a question. Are you ready? Yes, I am. And we'll put a little smiley face there. There we go. So we're all set. And so then what we're going to do is off this button, we're going to send them another message and we're going to collect the information. This could be your survey. It could be just pre-qualifying questions, whatever you're going to be doing here. And we're going to kind of qualify them a little bit here. We're going to say, uh, where do you want to live? Enter a city name below. So we're going to tell them that you can, you know, you could ask them where they can enter multiple ones, but right now we're just going to do one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to store that in a custom field. And so we're going to store it in city. Now, if you don't have this custom field, you can type in city and it's going to come up and ask you and you can create it on the fly. So we have that one there. And so now we're going to, and I'm using the user input field. And user input field comes with the pro version, so you'd have to upgrade to a pro version. You can have a free mini chat, and you can do a lot of this, except you can't use the user input field. So you'd have to upgrade to pro. And so we're going to take another question is, what price, how much? you want to spend select a range so here what we're going to do is this user input we're going to make it multiple choice and the multiple choice allows them to select one of the many options and we're going to put 100,000 to one 
So we're gonna put another one, 200,000 to 300,000. And one more, 300,000 to 400,000. Now we have multiple choice there, and we're going to store that in a field called price. We have a custom field for that. So now, I'm going to scroll down, and we're going to put another one, and we're going to ask for their email. What is your email? And for that, we'll just do put, store that in email. And then we're going to do one more. What is your phone number? Store that in phone number. So now we have all those. <clears throat> and one of the things we're going to do here is we're going to do an action. And this action is going to be to tag this user that they're done with the survey. And what this tag is going to help us do is fire off the Zap and Zapier. So we're going to do done with survey. So they're done. And so now you can see the flow here. <coughs> Here's our survey or our questions that we're going to ask them. And then when they're done, it's going to tag that user. So we're going to go into Zapier and we're going to make a zap. First thing we're going to do is we're going to choose mini chat because that's what we want to do is what we want to do is we want to get a new tagged user. It's right here. So mini chat, the new tagged user is going to be for that done with survey. So we're going to say new tagged user and we're going to select the account that we're using. That would be the account that you're doing the bot in. And test that, make sure it connects, save yes. And the tags should all come up. And we'll select done with survey. And then we're going to test it. <coughs> and I got an error. And the reason I got an error is because nobody's tagged with that tag yet. So what we need to do is we need to publish this. And then we need to run the bond in a test in a preview mode. Just run it once. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it here, and it's going to say, looking forward to helping you find your new home. We have a few questions to ask you. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So there we go. Where do you want to live? Enter name, city name. So we're going to enter in Germantown. No. Now it's going to say, how much do you want to spend? Select this field. I'm going to select 200,000, 300,000. And what is your email? It is jkabinski at gmail.com. Phone number, we're going to pick 262-844-8484. There we go. So now if we go back to Zapier and actually do try it again, do a test on that, we should have a clear. Yep, it found it. So basically because I did a test, that information is out there. I have a, a um, I'm tagged. Basically what it is is I'm tagged with the done with survey because I ran through that test. So... Should be all set there. Now we can continue on in Zapier. So the next step would be is to send it to Google Sheets. So <coughs> we're going to create a spreadsheet in a in, uh, create a row in a spreadsheet. First, we need to create the spreadsheet. So I'm going to create a blank spreadsheet. I'm going to call it. Um, real estate buyer, and we're going to want name, email, phone number, 
uh, city price, and we also want the user ID from ManyChat. So it gives us a chance to actually send messages back if we wanted to do later down the road. So we'll have all those fields. So we go back to Zapier and say, yep, we want to create a row <clears throat> in this account. And that's the account that I just created that Google Sheets in. And so now we should be able to find this, that real estate buyer. And the sheet, the worksheet was going to be sheet one. And now we have name, email, phone number, city, price, and user ID. So now we can match them up from step one, the tagged user, bringing it in, and we're going to take the whole name. Now you can, you know, set up where you'd have first name and last name. <clears throat> And it might help out that way as far as sending a message back. So maybe we'll just, um, now let's take the name. Oh, I don't want it in there twice. So um, let's see, email. Phone number. So the city was a user field as well there. Price. There we go. And user ID. And that's the user ID coming from ManyChat. So we can do this. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add first name here. Easier to, let's say you want to do a, later you want to do a um, message back to, Many chat, you can do them by first name. So I'm just going to put that in here. Let's drag that down a little bit. First name. All right. So let's continue. And so now we're going to run a test that's going to work. Yep. It worked. And so we should have it. There it is. So. Um, the one thing you want to do, and I see that this is what's happening, you need to format. Oop. This column needs to be formatted. And I'm not. I forgot where to define name range. What you want to do is you want to change this to a format number you don't want a county number you just want a generic number and without all that so i'm just going to do that format more formats custom field. So basically what we want is we want this apply. We want a straight number because if you don't do that later on when we want to use it, let's say we want to come and get this Google Sheet row and look it up, it needs to be a straight number because that's what's coming in through Zapier. So we're all set. So this all worked. So we're going to call this real estate buyer. I'm going to turn it on. So we should be all set there. So there it is, real estate buyer. And we have this sheet. So what we're going to go back and do is we're going to run this one more time. And we're going to say, yes, I'm ready. And we're going to put Mequon as the city this time. We're going to pick 300,000. Oops, one thing I forgot to do is if I'm doing a test over again, I need to change this and get rid of this tag because otherwise it won't fire off. So I got rid of the tag because I'm retesting it again. In order for this zap to fire off, I have to be a new tagged user. So let's continue on with this. Make sure that it does go through. Um, 
So now we have that. We ran that. Now we'll go see if the zap ran. Should be, yep. It looks like it ran there. And there we are. So there, there, there. And it should be the same number as me and that. So there you go. So we got the information from ManyChat. And if we go out here to the audience, we can go out and look. I am tagged again. If you needed to test it, you'd have to take the tag off so that the zap would fire. We ran that real estate um, buyer's app. And you can always go into history. And if you have some errors and stuff, you can always look and see what's going on. So here's the tagged user. And here's all the information that's coming in the Zapier. Just kind of cool that you can see all the <coughs> information here. And then it kind of tells you what's going on as far as what went out. So you can kind of follow as far as the zaps. It's in the task history. And you can see that. So anyway, there we go. And we got it all set. That concludes our video for today on taking data from ManyChat through Zapier to Google Sheets. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I'd be happy to answer those. And as always, please like the video, share it across the world, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. In the future, I am going to be creating a couple challenges, ManyChat challenges, one a little basic and one advanced, so look out for those as well. Have a great day.